Well, hi there. Welcome to Home Wizards, where we love to, well, improve your home and improve your life. I'm Cindy Dole. Hey, I'm Eric Stromer. Do you love having summer parties at your house? Summertime <laughs> in the city. I love I love <laughs> summer. Minute. So You know, wait. You combine two different songs wait, just then. summertime, it, 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 it is easy. Okay, That's then, the then you're doing summer I, in the oh, city. Oh, it's not fun in the city. <laughs> that was the two I was combining. Yes, the answer is yes, I love summer. I'm so glad it's that here. That wasn't the question. Do you, love the having, question? do you like having summer parties? Parties. Oh. Parties. Why, yes, I do. Okay. Well, you, know, you know why? Traditionally, summer uh, parties, you get to wear white. You white, know how much I like wearing linen. white linen. <laughs> like Looks, Fabio. It, it works right? great when you're working on the barbecue sauce yeah, and you're doing they, the ribs, that's right? right yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunity when you're enjoying the warm summer evenings or even afternoons. You just had, you've had some great parties for your uh, your friends and family and uh, we're going to be having some parties. So I thought we could talk about some great themes to get your summer decor party groove on because if you have some focus on a theme, it kind of helps. You, you know what? Theme parties are fantastic and I'll tell you why. Why? It sometimes just isn't enough to say, "Hey, come on over. We're going to have a party." You got to you got to lure people with this. You know what? It's going to be fantastic because I'm doing such amazing stuff. Wait till you see, right? It's got to be more than just food and beverages. It's got to be an activity. It's got to get people out of their houses at night right. and they actually want to do something. So, what do you got? So, how do you like the idea? I mean, there's a bunch. We have at least ten great theme ideas that I think would really help uh, give you um, some focus. Come up with some great foods that could go with that. Some decor, um, but just make it festive. So, what about Arabian Nights? All I can think of is hair and pants. <laughs> so and see, I'm in. no you're shirt, in. <laughs> hair and pants, and a barbecue. Wouldn't that be fun? I mean, yes. it really, it could be decadent, and it could be something for adults only, or it could be cute for kids as well. I mean, I'm talking paper lanterns, but even outdoor lights that are covered with that gauzy fabric to kind of look like it's well this romantic and just fun place from far, far away. It's kind of like that's uh, the last Sex in the City movie, you know, where they go, they go to the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mid East Dubai exactly. area, and they have that fancy party time. So it, that we might need, we might need to have a little belly dancing. I action. might be wearing a Nehru. <laughs> belly dancing. <laughs> you know, I took a class. I guess it was a Zumba. You know, you hear about the Zumba, how that's sure. a big thing, and and you kind of do a little bit of belly dancing thing. And how'd they, that go? It went pretty well, and they give you one of those belly dancing belts. Which is fun that has the little coins all around it. I love that, and that gives you the shimmy shimmy feeling. And so I mean, and those little finger clam things. <laughs> those so things. let's see. I mean, I think that. I, hey, you got your outfit already. I, I want to see you. <laughs> belly dancing. How about this? How about this? Guess what? There's a party in July. I'm going to have those finger things and be wearing hair and pants. Come on over. Is Perfect. that enough to get them to That's show it. up? Well, all I right. have some shrimp kebabs, some marinated ribs, and some other finger food, and some great music that makes you feel like you're in the Arabian desert, you know? You know, and, and that and that kind of food is fun. It's that it's the uh it's the combination of sweet and, uh-huh. and um you know the the Hot. Cu- cumin and all those great Curry, spices, maybe. Cur- you know, uh-huh. all that stuff. Uh-huh. And then you want to have the smell or the scent of jasmine with some some night blooming jasmine flowers and vines and wouldn't that be great? So good. Um and have some comfy seating, maybe some great yardscape work, you know, to create that outdoor space um with a lot of pillows and padded loungers and I think that would be a really neat. That would also give some of my friends the excuse to have a drum circle. I don't know what that is. You know, we, you know, you sit around and you and you play like the tabla or the drum, the conga or something, and, you, and you everybody spill your does your guts it. or something. No, everybody plays. You know, you find a commonality in rhythm oh. with the people that are in the circle with you. It's pretty fun. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's called a drum circle. Drum circle. Yeah. 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 My son's a drummer. I'm a drummer. So the whole family seems to make a lot of percussive noises all the time. And then it makes <laughs> other people who come to our house get involved. Okay. And that's where you'll come in with the belly dancing. <laughs> okay. And don't forget, you need a stack of ones. No, that's a different uh, kind of party. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so that's a fun theme. I just think about and go wild with the Arabian Nights theme. Then right. there's the, the classic, the beach blanket bingo. I mean... You know, whether you have a pool or not, it's the beach party theme, au natural. I mean, I've seen this done inside as well as outside. If you didn't have a pool or a water feature, you can bring everybody inside and have, you know, everyone's wearing beach attire and flip-flops and shorts and you have beach balls. And I got to ask you a question. Uh I'll be honest with me. What's the deal with you and Rock Hudson? Oh, right. You love the pictures of the, mid- I do. the mid-century design and I then know. Rock Hudson coming out of a pool. I know. Was that sort of like your iconic guy when you were a kid? I don't know. I mean, he's he's sure, he's handsome. Yeah. He's handsome. He's cla- he is kind of a, he is a classic, isn't he? He's eternal. Yeah, yeah. well, take it easy. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we're getting a little verklempt. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, you get the idea of having some beach balls, and if you do have a pool, then gosh, why not? You know, you get the swimsuits and so forth and decorate your table inside or out with... Heck, even beach um, towels. The terry cloth thing is kind of fun and inexpensive. And, and also, the, like, the portable picnic, that old picnic basket look, yes. right? That whole feeling. Uh-huh. When Annette Funicello and Frankie would bring that stuff to the beach. Cute. You have those high-waisted bathing suits. You could even get into that whole thing where you wear... You know what? My wife and I, when we go to the summer vacation that we go to in Michigan, there are all these old bathing suits from the 50s and 60s. And that's in right now, by the way. It, Especially for women. Is yes. that right? Yes. You mean the skirt the high, suits? The high and all waisted. That? Yeah, uh-huh. that's right. Well, then, well, well, we've been putting those things on for a 4th of July parade forever and ever. So the kids will put on these crazy looking bathing caps and these old 50s suits. It's really fun. fun. Now that I know it's in style, we got to go to some well, other decade. See? Or, or just or borrow some of it for your party. There you go. Um, so, anyway, think about like when you're talking about the outfits or your decor polka dots, bold stripes, you know, very 50s, 60s kind of. And then, of course, that music from the era would be very very fun that's that's an interesting point you know you you any of these parties that we're talking about will have theme music yeah and that'll make the whole night totally Want does it. you can create your own little uh, mp3 setup and on your ipod why not great idea. Um, and for food you could have anything from fried chicken to hot dogs and then if you have a fire pit you have to have the roasting of the marshmallows and yep. s- s'mores yeah wouldn't that be fun absolutely so there you've got your own you know little beach Blanket bingo beachfront bonfire party. Um, another really cute idea, especially if you're a pet lover like we are, is to include dogs and or cats in the party. In other oh. words, in other words, guests can bring their pets. That's a great idea. And you call it a dog day afternoon, and everyone's included, and it's a fun, you know, probably an outdoor party in the yard, and everyone's got to bring the pooper scooper. <laughs> Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> the bags. That's true. But wouldn't that be fun? And, and uh, they'd have a blast, and everyone can then um, bring out their own cushion covers and tablecloths, and then have a, you know, a lot of fresh, cool water for our four-footed guests as well. And what do you, and what do, you do uh, you know, theme-wise for music for the dog day afternoon? What are you thinking? Oh, come on. Who let the dogs out? Oh, okay. All kinds of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is that doggy in the window? Oh boy, the list goes right? on. We we better put this on your home wizards. We're going to. We're so going people to. can see these cute? music suggestions. Yep. Yeah, um, and you could even play like a thousand and one Dalmatians. You could have all of the classic oh, dog cute. movies yep. playing for kids. You know, on a on a screen outside or on your TV. And inside. then maybe food that you can feed the dogs as well as what you. Yeah, have, have hot dogs. Duh. <laughs> yeah. Why not? I don't you know. Or are, are those little wieners, and you and you wrap bacon around them, and those are your appetizers. You know, I had those last just last night. Puffed pastry surrounding a hot dog with with bacon in it with, too. No, with just, just some delicious mustard at, yeah. a, at one of these party things. You yeah. know, and, I, and you dip it in the deal, and then you always wonder, do other people take bites and then dip a second time? Oh, you know what I mean? The double dipper thing. The that's double dipper. That's the Seinfeld episode. Do, yeah, I remember of, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. So sometimes I don't do the mustard. Anyway, I digress. Please. But, it, but you could have, you know, salad, potato salad, burgers, beans. I and, mean, of course, you want to have a lot of doggy toys. Wouldn't that be cute? Everyone gets to take home a doggy toy. I don't know. I've never done this, but I think it could be really fun. You know what would be cute? A potluck doggy toy. Everybody says, you know, in the oh. invitation, bring a doggy toy. And put there's it in an a basket. exchange, a gift there exchange. Yes. And then you want to make sure, though, just to be on the safe side, that all the pet owners make sure that their pets, you know, have their shots up to date and That's that everything's true. safe and all that good stuff. But anyway, that'd be really cute. Great idea. Tiki bar party. Love the tiki bar. Boy, do I ever. And so how about feeling like you're setting off to the South Seas and you've got the tiki torches and you're sipping on the exotic, you know, Mai Tais or whatever you like. Um, That spells orchids. It spells orchids and plumeria. (laughs) Speaking of which, I just I just took mine and put it in the sun again today because I had it in the shade for a little couple of days, the plumeria. Uh Uh-huh. And now now my leaf Leaf growth from about the half top an of inch. the stalk, about a half inch. It's to good. Three it's quarter. doing good. I think it is. Got to be this... watering it once a week now. Yeah. Now I, you start I, I to have water. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, when it. we come back, we're going to talk more about how to have the tiki bar party and more fun things. In fact, Christmas in July. Get a lot out. of people do that, and you could make you could make your Christmas party indoor, or outdoor, and have people dress up as Santa. I mean, we've got some fun ideas to really enjoy your summertime entertaining at home. So that's more coming up. Home Wizards, Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. The fun continues right after this. Well, 
Welcome back. You're listening to Home Wizards. Well, well, we love to just have some fun. Yeah, we do. And improve the spaces you call home. We call it improving your home and improving your life. In a summer kind of way. That's what we do. In every kind of way. Eric Stormer here, Cindy Dole. And summer is definitely here. And I always love to have a summer party at least once or twice during the season. There's so many themes that are out there. We thought that we would give you some creative thoughts and ideas to kind of inspire you into having some friends and family over. Maybe it's just your apartment or your condo. Maybe it's a house, whatever it is. There's some really cute things you can do that are going to get everybody all pumped up. So how about, we were talking about the Tiki Bar Party, where you feel like you're in the South Seas. Love it. And uh, right, I think this is going to call for you wearing the coconut bra. Uh, Got to wear the coconut bra, the, <laughs> the ukulele, co- <laughs> the whole, and the little sailor Kind hat. of, kind of. But then how about for the table, uh, you use um, like a raffia skirt around the buffet table, and you have Polynesian torches in, uh, you know, little tins that have sand, the galvanized tin with sand inside to hold the torch in place. Um, some great little lights yeah. to accent. Live orchids, other lush ve- uh, vegetation on the tables. Pig roast. Pig roast. Delicious pig, pig roast. Pig roast. Okay, you right? can have a pig roast. Island music. And then you could have a centerpiece, a lot of fresh fruits. You got a papaya. You got a pineapple. You want to uh, you want to hear something? And you got to grill. You got to grill bananas and and uh, mangoes. I mean, oh my gosh! You can even go with the plantains. The plant. Don't you love Plantano. grilled? Yeah. Can I tell you a little story? Sure. Here? So I was on the Martha Stewart show. Uh oh. My one and only time. Uh oh. As a guest, and my assignment on the show was to create a tiki lounge with you know crafty things. So I had to glue that stuff. The raffia the stuff? The raffia stuff around the table and, and wear the Hawaiian shirt and do the whole thing. And uh, after the first segment, I think she just she just started glaring at me more and more. Like, what's wrong yeah, with you? you what's the matter that, with him? You were saying that she wasn't really friendly She didn't like you. me, no. Well, that's her But loss. I did a great job. I made a great tiki, a great tiki lounge, and uh, yeah. it was gorgeous. Uh, but I don't think she l- enjoyed the way that I said things. Like what? Well... I kept making comments about her ankle bracelet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and her tattoos? Yeah. No. No, it was it was fun. Actually, they the good news about doing that show is that they had the best food, the best catering oh, I know. I've ever had in my life, and the greatest coffee. It was a lot of fun. The audience is really receptive. I didn't to, get to didn't get stuff. to meet Martha, but I worked a couple times on her radio show on um, on the Sirius. Channel. Sure, yeah. And so you're in her empire, and you're just kind of smelling the money. You're there. Yes, boy, <laughs> so she's it's, ta- it's kind she's of got fun. Some, some good ideas on things. So back Back to the tiki party. So, yeah. you, but besides having the fresh fruit, you got to have the whole pineapple and have a coconuts and serve your drinks maybe in a coconut shell. Be kind of fun to do. Um, you know what? I love coconut milk. I love coconut milk. You know what I mean? Anything coconut. Yeah. It's very good for you. You love coconut oil. You I do that. Well, you know, I have a teaspoon, a tablespoon of that a day. I know you do. And by the way, it's great as moisturizer or hair conditioner. <laughs> Just right now, up. that's why I'm uh, sitting right now in this strange position. I can't stay upright because I'm just sliding <laughs> so on my chair. <laughs> well, let's replace WD-40. Coconut oil does it all, yes, right? Yes, it does. Yep. It does it all. So the other next great fun party idea for July is Christmas in July. Now, here's the deal. Christmas in July means you have half a year left and it's going to be Christmas, so you can do two things. You can stress out or you can get organized and have some fun. There you so go. So I choose the latter. I do. And why not have Christmas in July as something that's festive? People come over. You could make it something where it's a task-driven thing, where it's, let's say, it's a bunch of your friends and you're all going to work on your Christmas cards while you're getting your oh, decorations that's a good out. Idea. So that way you have it done. Or you could just be nutty and have someone dress up as Santa and have a gift exchange and have like a, a summer, like an upside down Christmas tree or like a Hawaiian Christmas tree. That is tree. great. And, or, you know, that spells Speedo and a fake beard. Could right? be. With a ton could of be. sunscreen Like on. Santa gone wild. Yeah, San- oh, <laughs> Santa gone wild in the hot tub. It's a new reality that's show, right? right? <laughs> but wouldn't that be cute? I mean, yeah. you know, and, and then if there were kids involved, they could dress up as elves or whatever. I think that it, and there's more gifts for everybody. It's actually a new meaning to the uh, phrase ho, ho, ho. Thank ah. you. Good night, everybody. And all, for all of the gift exchange, you know, make it more summery gifts. Like, uh, you know, it's flip flops or sun, you know, uh, beach towels. But, you know, things I, like that. I like that task oriented thing you so like that you spend a couple of minutes just doing doing yeah. cr- a and quick card and you're having some some ginger cookies or you could even just have tropical things forget having the classic f- christmas food but you're eating and drinking while you're working on a task yeah here's another thing i would suggest what's that set up a photo booth because you're going to look a heck of a lot better in the summer than when you're all pasty well, in november thinner. making your christmas you'll be, card you'll be at least you know 10, I mean? you'll be 10 pounds thinner that's exactly right yeah <laughs> 
And, of course, there's so many great Christmas songs that are, I guess, kind of more tropical. There's a lot of fun Christmas songs you can go online, you'll see. Yeah. You know, Yo Ho Ho and a Bottle of Rum kind of Christmas songs. Sure. Anyway, how about this theme? The Wild Wild West. You have everything from, you know, the pot of beans and a cattle roundup and some nice sirloin or porterhouse steak on the campfire. And people are dressing up like cowboys and cowgirls. And you decorate with that red or blue you know, handkerchief, tablecloth. Yes, great that be idea. Fun? Really fun. The the have thing you done I, this? I will warn you What's about. That? You've done it. Do, yes, and here's what I'm going to warn you about. Do not, and I repeat, do not swim in chaps. Okay. They'll take you right down to the bottom of the pool. A little too heavy. Yeah, a little heavy. The okay. le- when the leather gets wet. But see, when you have the coconut oil and the chaps combined, then you're fine. You then get you're, it, then you you're get, better. You can slip right out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to layer. That's right. But I, I'm thinking that the Wild West theme party would be cute with all the decorations. You get those hurricane lanterns. You put some classic country music. Well, do you know anybody who sings some great classic I country do. rock? Uh, yeah. Kind of sounds like... I'm waiting. I know, but I want to hear it. I want to hear a song. Get on you, chaps. Get out the pool. <laughs> okay. Eat all those beans. Uh, Don't be a fool. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. And you have the baked beans and the slow cooker and and then how about this is a decor item. Yeah. You have cowboy hats that are filled with chips. Oh, that's good. So you have the chips and salsa, but you so, use an actual hat. And I would suggest you put... A clean hat. I'd put some, like, a, 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 t- a top paper inside towel. That. I don't want to eat chips out we're of not, my brother's We're not going to wear the oily. Hat, no, yeah, no. But yeah. how fun. And then you could use um, some of those wanted poster placemats and have all the people that are coming to your party have their names on the wanted. Isn't that cute? Yeah, and then and, every time a new guest shows up, you can say... There's a new sheriff in town. You want from around here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? How about this idea of under the sea? Now, this is cute because we we touched on this. You know, let's say you don't have a water feature like Eric Stromer has yeah. his pond and Thank I you. have a pool, you know. Right. So what if you don't have that? Just bring it inside and on the walls you have either photos or stuffed animals of all of your favorite sea creatures from sharks and whales to dolphins. And then you have great, you know, kind of sea life tablecloths and then you could have like an old trunk or treasure chest and then that's filled with some gag toys oh, that, that and gifts. Netting, that like netting and the, the netting oh sure the sea netting pirate's booty kind of sure, stuff sure sure yes and then seafood seafood and then decorate with shells and sand and candles and then have everyone dress in costumes but um even if no one is wearing an eye patch it's still going to be kind of fun i think it'd be cute how fun. I love that one, yeah. too. South of the Border Fiesta. You well, have to have that. Come on. Are you come kidding on. me? That's the and best so one. You, you know why? Because that involves my favorite it's beverage. Tarita. Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. And the Ferrera. I'm sorry, what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I just, for a moment there, I kind of went into bridesmaid when they, when she was pretending that she could speak fluent Spanish, and she goes, Sanzuela. <laughs> Kundala. Remember that? She I was actually kind of thought, like <laughs> I, I for a minute thought that Antonio Banderas was you know, in the studio But you can have us. you can have sombreros and serapes and pinatas to decorate, and then you have your own ma- mariachi music, or you can have a mariachi band show up that you hire, and then of course have your favorite Mexican food and yeah, the pictures that, of that's margarita. Great. I mean, that's a no brainer. Well, I, and I, I recently I have to warn everyone. I recently had kind of a difficult time with a pinata. Uh oh. Yeah. Meaning the kids? Meaning the, it was, the dad used duct tape to make the pinata, and Uh-oh. nobody could break it open. Oh, we had no. to literally get out a, a saw to saw through the pinata and Not give them good. a start. No good. Well, anyway, hopefully uh, those ideas give you some inspiration to have some fun summer parties uh, at your home uh, in the next couple of weeks. Why not? You know, we have a few more ideas. In fact, even having a baseball party idea. Uh, so we'll have all that up on the website for you to talk about. In fact, I mean, why not have a baseball party idea where you have all of your favorite theme, all your favorite teams and T-shirts and caps out, and then everyone's invited over and you have like little mini wooden bats as party favors. Cute. And of course, you're going to serve beer. And you're going to have the game on. And you're going to have game on, you know, yep. of some kind. And you can be showing Field of Dreams or The Natural. Oh, and I cry in both of those movies. Out, you know, those are the two that get me. Classics. You just spoke to me right there. Well, we know why it speaks to you. Because if you build it, he will come. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Anyway, some fun ideas. I mean, it, it's hard to almost say, like, what are you going to choose first? Because there's so many good ones. But anyway, those are some fun things to think about. Coming up in our next segment, we are going to continue giving you some great inspiration for uh, those spaces that you call home. We are going to talk about kid fun ideas. And Eric, as a hey! dad, you've got some good ones. How to really turn your yard into a, a fun, entertaining thing. How to keep the kids not bored, you know, yeah, through boy, the summertime. Summer's, t- summer's tough. School's it out. Is. you got you got to Fill all that time with activity. All right, so, so we've that's got some great idea. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, you're listening to Home Wizards, where we love to improve your home and improve your life. We're back right after this.
do, but there ain't no cure for the summertime. Blues. 